Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your top two at yesterday's Indie Pro. And before I begin judging this one or going through these poses, this is not meant to disrespect Justin Rodriguez one bit. I have no problem at all with him taking this. It's just that, you know, some of us obsess over the sport and we like to see why and how some of these gentlemen won. And in second place, he shocked the field, guys. This is Mohamed Alamem, and this guy brought a fantastic package. Structurally speaking, he could have got a victory over Justin Rodriguez, in particular in this front double by. You can see his lat width, good V taper. He might be a little, little too full, maybe, perhaps. Hard to say though. But you gotta, you know, you gotta get full to get those muscles a popping. Now, wheels for wheels. He's got some good separation in his legs, does Mohamed, but he doesn't have the size, and I don't think that he would have the impact of a Justin Rodriguez. Justin's got some good muscle separation in his abs in this pose, plus he is winning in the arms for sure. So an easy win, I think, in this pose. Go to the front lats, bread. Now this one here is where Mohamed may have slipped in a victory over uh, Justin Rodriguez. His legs, his wheels look fantastic. Do uh, Mohamed Alamems, but this one here, you, you gotta, you, you can't unsee those big delts of Justin Rodriguez, and that really, you know, it 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 helps in a pose like this, creates a nice framework, lat for lat. I'd give it to Mohamed. I would probably overall give him this one, this pose, very aesthetically pleasing, but you know, it's not a beating. He's not. Uh, Definitely not destroying Justin Rodriguez. Go to the side poses. And this is where you got to look at muscle separation. You got to look at conditioning and quality. And this is probably one of the main reasons why Justin Rodriguez was getting a victory over Mohamed. Keep in mind, guys, Justin Rodriguez, you know, he's a seasoned veteran. He's a seasoned veteran. This is his first pro show win. Can you imagine that one? He's been around for a while, placing high. But, you know, it takes a, you know, a lot of guys not to be there, I guess. and Certain conditioning. But you can see Justin has that muscle separation in the, the quads, glutes, hamstrings. Fantastic. And in the arm, the upper body development. So an easy win in the side. Side tricep. Now Justin has the physique, I think midsection, chest, and of course the wheels, the wheels. But Mohamed has that all-important X factor in this one. He has a Hunter Labrada style tricep for goodness sakes. Look at that. So if everything was pieced together well and he got it more, you know, better conditioned, things of that of that nature, I think Mohamed would have a good chance of uh, placing even higher. And like I said, guys, with that tricep itself, Overall, you know, his shape might be a little bit better than Justin's. But still, still, muscle separation, Justin would get the win. Turn around for the back development. And this is a situation where if you do excuse the size, I think Justin's stepping back a little bit, make him a little bit bigger. What do you guys think? But aside from that, his back development is far superior lats, traps, width, V-taper. But when you look at the lower half, I think this uh, Mohamed LMM, his glutes, I think they're more striated, maybe. And his hamstrings, those are definitely better. He has a Branch Warren style lower half. Fantastic, guys. But still, look at the back of Justin. Rear double by. And really, Justin... Might even be just as, or maybe even drier in the glutes when you really take a good look. But this shot here, LMM, he is much smaller. That's, that's funny. That didn't reflect the front shots. Leads me to believe that Justin is stepping back a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Either way, though, the muscle separation this time, lat insertions, things of that nature, I would give it to LMM, but so much smaller, and he's losing in the arm department. Like I said, look at those wheels. Look at the entire lower half. Mohamed, definitely a guy to keep your eye on. 
Here is the Abanthi. I had to kind of Photoshop these ones together. And uh, they, they weren't hitting them at the same time when Alamam was hitting this good one. Justin was bent over and vice versa. Justin's ab separation, probably winning. But I think the overall midsection, I would give to Mohamed. Mohamed just looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Good muscle separation in the quads as well. But still, anytime I would uh, lean towards Alamam, it was, you know, it could have went either way. Here is the final look on this, the final say. Justin Rodriguez. This is first and second at the Indy Pro, guys. And Justin won because he had excellent condition, first of all. And he was a match for anybody as far as that's concerned. But I think his size was just too much for the other top guys. He's just too thick. He's a very thick individual, in particular in those wheels. But then when you look at the delts, his wheels are anything but uh, overwhelming. Justin Rodriguez, he is your, your winner in this comparison. And like I said, guys, this was not meant to disrespect Justin. I just wanted to check it out. Give it a little double check. The Marks Max Muscle double check. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one and look forward to many more comparisons. I got half a mind to compare Blessing with Dwayne Walker. Everybody's saying, oh, Dwayne's legs were too small. He's placing low because of that. Yeah, let's do a comparison with him and, him and Blessing. Then we'll see what's going on. We'll see what's up. <laughs> Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.